Hello, my name is Rudy Roar, and today I will be playing, once again, Reverie, a wholesome RPG. This is the updated file, uh, now available on Level 2 Janitor's itch.io page. Soundtrack, I think it's already done, maybe, composed by Taylor Tattoons. And I am Rudy Roar, I will be playing this through the demo for ya. And in this new version, you might have noticed, there is a new form of, uh, there's a new font used. If I just go over here, uh, yeah, there's, a. Uh, let's test out this new font, take it for a spin. So that shows that saving is needed so that whenever you get taken out by monsters, you don't lose all your progress. Dying takes you to your last save. It doesn't take you to the end. We're finally going to head east to that dangerous forest full of monsters for adventure. And we have to talk to him again. Yes. Here we go. The dream forest. Here comes the bird. Now let's see what Teddy can do. Uh, we're gonna need to attack. Ooh, it's a fun size. It took all our combined attack power to take that just that phoenix out. We know what challenge we're in for now in the Dream Forest. Snowman. Ooh. Now that's a pretty cool snowman right there. Snowbro. I'm not gonna be slow for the snowbro. Aha! We learned how to be ill. Snowflake. Uh, damage is uh, slow and slow. Will use its own power against it, of course. Maybe next match. Maybe if we were to use the Snowflake ability on the Phoenix, it would do some more damage. Yes. We must heal if we are going to be a real deal. Past the dream forest to the rickety tower. Well, it looks pretty stable to me. It's just, uh, it's a it's a weird form of architecture. Is that where we're going? It is. This is the rickety tower, or er, sun tower, actually. But no one really calls it that nowadays. It used to be well guarded, but fallen into disrepair. That's not disrepair. Um. Someone is hitting an anomaly. Uh, what's here though? You cannot just bring it up and not talk about it. Sun shard. Yeah, big power and big trouble. I did not mean to go backward. We are going to enter that Ricky Tower. We're going to be brave and I'm going to make up music for this part. Hmm. Yes. I think I'm gonna dream about lots of spaghetti. It's just like it in. Hmm, there are going to be some challenges here if we have to save. I'm going to go back into that forest and see if I can find some more delicious apples. Hopefully, with avoiding some enemies. What's this? Gold's always handy. Wow, I've never seen this part of the forest before. So, using the AP, which I think means attack power, I have to start using that all up in battle so I can get the most out of effect out of my, our characters. My characters. Whose characters? Choose characters. Choose a character. Fight, fight, fight. We should be able to take out the fun fact. A 
snowman, damage is a small price to pay for chest. I think Angie used to do about one damage each, but now it's starting to do three. We are most certainly uh, improving, leveling up. But we cannot use apples if we get damage. We must instead rather just go back to that rest place. A single battle here can be life or death in the rickety tower. Get back in. Of course, the other characters have abilities as well. Landscape is all stars. I, I didn't mean that the landscape is all good, but that there's a lot of stars in it. Still looks good, however. Trees have some tight uh, walk borders to walk across. You have noticed how in RPGs the characters are just too big to be trees. But still, they scale nicely along with enemies. That looks like a very intimidating snowman. Teddy is like some sort of target for the snowman. We are possibly ready to take on the Riggedy Tower. The Raggedy Tower. The Trickety. Ooh, check out the view? Why not? Do, 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 do. I never foresaw this coming, but there has to be a chest with good, uh, loot inside it. It's the key, it's the key, it's the key. An apple. This better not be a boss bird. Ah, easy. I think this is the key. On the way back, I would like to lecture you on the usability of lava lamps. If a lava lamp has infinitely bubbles that go up and down, what energy could possibly be used from this? You can't even power a house if you were to take some sort of barbell and move it a bunch, around a bunch of coils. But a lava lamp seems to maybe have that sort of potential. Oh, wait, this lava lamp's off. There's no bubbles going up and down. Lava lamps are a scam. What's the use of lava lamps if, if you can't use them anywhere? This will not do. There must be smaller, portable lava lamps. If you can risk putting water in a bag to spill, then you can risk putting a lava lamp in there. Now let's unlock this tower. It's locked. Do we have to equip the key? This is a storeroom key. Well, let's head back to town. In the next episode. Remember, the link to Reverie and Wholesome RPG, which I will be continuing soon. Sort of like a ghost town with no music. But the rest of the tunes, unlike this song that the little, little vines are dancing to, is composed by Teo Todd Tunes. And this newer version, slightly newer, made by Level 2 Janitor. Links are in the description. My name is Rudy Rohr. I wish thee to fare well and safe travels. Oh.